Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, terrible. Oh. So snotty. Well, even though you're feeling terrible, there's quite a big story to cover. Yep, I'm dedicated to the Climbing Daily storytelling. Uh, okay. And we're going to kick off with some controversy from Germany and the issue surrounding Action Direct. Saheed Belhaj is a pro climber who, despite having sent thousands of routes from AA to 9A, climbed almost 10 9As and on sighted up to 8B+, is still fairly underground and unknown. There is currently a clash in the climbing world between him and Hannes Hutch. Hannes, who works as a consultant and journalist and was until fairly recently part owner of the Café Craft Gyms. Hannes is disputing Said's claim that he climbed the famous Frankenure route Action Direct 9A. Action Direct is a route with some serious bite and features a dyno to mono holds as the crux. It's seen as a real rite of passage for elite climbers and has always attracted the world's best to try their hand at this historic climb. Hannes has been making a film about the route and wanted to feature Said's attempts to climb it as part of a larger documentary. Saheed sent a text message to Hannes in October 2018, claiming that he had climbed Action Direct following a trip to Spain. There was no filmmaker present, and Saheed has offered no proof that he has clipped the chains. Prior to the ascent, the pair filmed together, and Hannes spent time with Saheed on the route. He says that Saeed was a long way from doing the climb, not making good links, and struggling to go bolt to bolt. Hannes believes that to climb the route, Saheed would have had to have made unrealistic gains and improvement in the time space. Saheed has come back saying that at the time of that filming, he'd been climbing for four days and was tired, but climbed anyway just for the film. The whole situation is difficult, as there isn't any solid evidence to back up either men's claims. Saheed did not film the ascent, and he was not climbing with his usual belay partners. Instead, he was belayed by a stranger, a man called Mike. Saheed says he was contacted on Instagram by Mike, who offered to belay him. Due to Saeed's lifestyle of extensive traveling, he sometimes has to climb with strangers. But Mike has since disappeared from Instagram and no one has been able to contact him. Saheed believes he has deleted his account, while Hannes thinks that Mike might not have been real. On his website, Hannes mentions that Saheed has told him passers-by might have taken photographs, but he was too, quote, full of adrenaline to ask for them. However, Saheed made no mention of this incident in his interview that he did with La Crux. Hannes began to have his suspicions that Saheed might not have climbed the route. He spoke to people close to Saheed and used the lack of proof to come to the conclusion that Saheed was not being truthful. Hannes then wrote an article on his website, which is linked below. Following the release of these accusations, Saheed has remained fairly silent, although many other people have got involved in the discussion, including pro climbers such as Daniel Woods and Saheed's old belay partners. Saheed has since done an interview with La Crux where he explains his side of the story. He says that simply he did do the climb and questions Hannes' motivations for questioning him. In his opinion, the grade of the route, 9A, is fairly reasonable for most pro climbers, and he does not understand why this ascent in particular is causing such problems. Although he does appreciate the difficulty of his belayer disappearing, he accepts this as just part of life. To his mind, his words should be enough, and he is disappointed with Hannes' reaction. Apart from that, he has so far stepped back from the debate. Since the article on Hannes' website was released, there has been a public and vocal argument between Jens, who runs the website 8a.nu, and Hannes. Both men are using their respective websites and social media accounts to put over their side of the argument. 8a.nu is a news and climbing website which publishes information on climbers and ascents and has an extensive logbook archive. Jens feels that Hannes needs solid evidence before coming out with such serious allegations. He dislikes the language that Hannes has used. There has also been criticism from Saheed's belay partners about the use of pictures unrelated to the debate on Hannes' website with provocative text underneath. Hannes is claiming that Jens is misquoting him and that Jens' personal relationship with Saheed, he was his coach, is colouring his judgement. This is a debate based around opinions. Unless Saheed can produce the belayer, he has no evidence, while Hannes can only speculate about what actually happened. 
In a world dominated by social media and athletes under pressure to perform, the argument has left many people questioning the ethics of climbing and whether a climber should have to prove the ascents they have made. While on the other side, has Hannes been too vocal with a lack of hard evidence? Now, this thing has been bubbling for a while. There's been a lot of people asking us to talk about it, and I certainly have been a bit reticent, and it's, I've been reticent to talk about it because what I said in that last paragraph, which is, this is a debate on opinion. Mm -hmm. There is no real facts to back yeah. up Hannes or to back up Saeed. But it's a huge talking point, and I think we need to discuss it a little bit. Absolutely. Go for it. Okay, so... There are some issues. The bigger issue it raises, right, which yeah. is that does a pro climber mm -hmm. need to prove a sense? And I think this is an interesting one because we have this world where everyone's putting a sense on social media. We get the world of Mellow where everyone's filming it. They're instantly putting it up. Proof is important with these things, especially when you have a pro climber who earns his money from climbing. Mm -hmm. So his sort of his argument saying, look, I did it, my proof, should, my word should be enough. It's unfortunate the B layer wasn't there. It isn't, it happened. That is a tricky argument because at the end of the day, he gets his money from being a pro climber. Mm -hmm. You've got to prove these things, perhaps. Yes, that is an argument. <laughs> uh, <laughs> perhaps. I, I, I would say, like, uh, it, you know, there, are, uh, there must be some times in situations where people send and they don't expect to send. Yeah. So they're like, I'm just going to jump on this and see how it goes. And then they send and they haven't got any footage of it. They weren't expected to do it. They were like, this isn't going to be my one when I my yeah. film. Like, you can't have a camera just like an iPhone just sat there the whole time filming you all the or time. Or should you? I mean. But but what, what he, so he says is, yeah, look, if this was a 9B plus or sure. a 9C, for sure. Okay, like yeah. if you're pushing the limits. But to him, he's like, he's done loads of 9As. Yeah. Action director, though it's a classic 9A, isn't like, it, it's not something that's ridiculous. It's just a 9A. He's it's like just, a benchmark, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but it's not a grade that people, I mean, lots of people are climbing 9A. So he's saying, look, I didn't film it. It's not that big a deal to me. I've what done other 9As issues? before. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, what's yeah. the problem here? Mm, exactly. I have a problem with the way that Hannes This is has, your opinion. This is, my, this is my opinion. Yeah. My issue is the way that this has been approached. Sure. I find... It, Hannes is sort of claiming to be an impartial journalist in this, and he's claiming that other people have biased. I would argue that considering Hannes is making a film with Saheed, there's an issue with Saheed not getting in touch with him, talking to him. I don't think Hannes is as impartial as he claims. I don't think a piece written on your own website is necessarily a piece of journalism. I think it's an opinion piece. Mm -hmm. That's where I get tricky. There's also a few things. For example, Hannes is when he went to film Saheed, he says that Saheed was nowhere near the route. He really struggled. He didn't go bolt to bolt and he didn't even do the jump or the top section. Yeah. Now, Saheed's belay partners have since come out saying he did do those links. They've climbed with him. You and me have spent time filming with climbers who suck, yeah. but they should be pro climbers. Yeah. That sounds terrible, but often, you know, if you're filming for a route, yeah, the there's climate, a high gravity day. There's a high gravity day. Sometimes it just doesn't work. I yeah. have watched Stefano Gasolfi go barely bolt to bolt on a 9B that we know he can do. We've filmed with Roland Hemisberger, who who could not on a 9B. Sorry, just to... so that was yeah, that was that was um, well. You remember that day when we were down uh, in Arco with when Stefano Gasolfi? Like there was the, the, when he was out on the 7A. He looked like he was struggling, kind of thing. Well, there was that, and then he tried his project, yeah. the Queen Line, mm -hmm. and couldn't get near it. Couldn't yeah, yeah, get near yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. And watching that, I would have thought he was so far away from it. Sometimes that happens with yeah, pro climbers. Absolutely. I don't think that's evidence. Particularly, just because someone was struggling, then stopped struggling and did the route. I've seen so many people, I've myself, have been so far from doing something and suddenly you pull on and it's like, whoa, how did I stick that? Yeah. For me, that's a bit tricky. But, Saeed, this guy disappeared, Mike, that doesn't sound good, does it? Well, it just doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't help. Uh, it could just be cleared up like that, couldn't it? Yeah. Um, and, you know, most people these days are kind of contactable. I actually have big respect for people that aren't contactable. So if this guy Mike does exist, and I'm, I'm not saying if he does or doesn't, if he if he's totally off like the off the radar, but the fact that he got in touch with them on Instagram means yeah. that he was probably quite active on Instagram, um, begging the question. You know, surely he'd be able to be found. Maybe he'll still come forward. Maybe, and that's what that's what Saeed's saying. He's like, I hope we meet. Yeah, Mike, if you're out there, come on, get Mike. In touch. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's also. Okay, so on Hannes' website, there's pictures that Hannes uses. And this, yeah. has, this isn't me who pointed this out. This is something I read in 8 new, but I do agree with it. For example, there's a picture of Jerry looking at Hannes... Sorry, Jerry Moffat looking at Saeed in a sort of disappointed way. That picture was taken during the initial filming before any of this happened. There's a quote underneath which says, How dare you from Hannes. Yeah. 
that's sort of manipulating images to sort of prove a point. Again, I don't think that's great journalism from Hannes. Mm -hmm. Taking a picture that you've taken previously, putting your own caption underneath, whether that's proving your point or not, I think is problematic. I don't like that as a thing. Uh, I, yeah. Can I just make a point that I think um, in terms of having a discussion about stuff like this, I think it is important to have a discussion about stuff like this. I don't necessarily know... It's unfortunate this come about through this, uh, mm -hmm. and obviously this is a, a situation where which can't be proven either way as to, as up until this point. But the fact is is that um, there will inevitably be this conversation more and more, uh, considering most people have like camera phones, and there is like that kind of idea of do you need proof? Yeah. Um, you know, I think there's there's certain situations in the past where people have questioned the sense, like mountaineering sense, yeah. alpine sense, and, and stuff like that in the past. But it's kind of just been, you have to take it on the word of the climate. Yeah. Now, is it something where we have to move beyond that and say, that's not enough. We need proof every time you do an ascent uh, of anything. And like, you know, the the, the fact that the grade 9A, uh, that was the hardest route back in the 80s and 90s kind of thing. Um, so therefore, at what point does it start? What point does it stop? Every time you jump on a 7A, do you have to like have proof yeah. that you kind of sent it kind of thing? And also you can manipulate. I mean, I, I've done edits yeah. where the climber hasn't climbed it. They had no intention of climbing it. We've put it together to tell the story of yeah. them doing a route. Absolutely. That's happened all the time. You can manipulate video as much as you can manipulate Well, well quite often if like, so for example, if, if Said sent it yeah. uh, and they wanted to kind of recreate it some way, they probably would have gone back and picked up the shoots, shots and, and like yeah. in the film, made that look as if the send footage but you know that's kind of how a lot of films are made like once you know it's it's been sent you're like yeah. okay it's fine we can go back and just shoot sections of it yeah um the problem is we don't know for a fact that this has been sent uh you know and, and mainly because there isn't somebody backing up Saeed yeah um but I, I haven't I've been quite negative towards Hannes I I think he has a right to say what he said. Sure. He is a journalist, he works in the climate media, he's very experienced, he's been making a film, he's obviously had his suspicions. He's then talked to pro climbers who have also had their suspicions. I think he's right to say, or to bring it up, I, I just dislike how he's done it. Okay, fair enough. I think there is a definitely, uh, like I said before, having that kind of conversation and you know, like I said, it's freedom of speech is allowed to kind of like question things. Yeah. Not many people do because it's such a grey area in climbing. Yeah. You can't like, it's like, and especially with this, it's like you, there's no way to like prove it a until now. Because um, Mike, wherever you are, yeah. hasn't come forward. Um, but yeah, I, part of me feels like it's a conversation that we need to have. And therefore, it, if this kind of sparks that conversation then maybe that's a good thing, a positive in a way. Yeah, because there's often that we, as a, I think this show for certainly is a new show, mm. we often take quotes from climbers, and we, although we fact check it as far as we can go, yeah. there is only an element of due diligence you can do with this, because a lot of it, you know, is on the fly, there's an Instagram picture, you know, that doesn't prove that anyone's done anything. Having an Instagram picture of someone on a route doesn't mean anything. Sure. So do we have a responsibility? As a news organisation, how much due diligence should we be doing? Should we be doing more? And where does it stop? Yeah, we should be traveling a lot. <laughs> we should just be following every yeah. pro climber. <laughs> we should, like, everyone, they should have an Epic TV representative with yeah. them at all times. But also, it's to play real devil's advocate here, are we adding to this problem? I haven't contacted Hannes. I haven't contacted Saeed. I haven't done that side of it. All I'm telling you is what I've pulled together from the internet and our personal opinion, which is what everyone's doing. And this is yeah. part of the problem. Saeed's kind of been like, I've said my piece, I'm out. Sure. Hannes is continuing this. The debate has been taken outside of the realms of those two people into the wider area. Of course, that's to be expected. Yeah. But it's dangerous. It's dangerous that AA, uh, you know, Jens is putting up his opinions on that website, which is considered a news website. It's dangerous that we're doing it. But is it dangerous? I mean, God, it's a route. Like, are we taking this too, too far? Yeah, maybe. I, I, I also think that it's important. Like, we, when we made that report, the report that you made, which, yeah. is, which I think kind of, like, brings all the kind of, the facts as yeah. we know them together like we're now just saying our opinion but like we we made this report in, in order to kind of like let you guys know where what the situation is and, and where where it's at so for us that's like to a certain extent a part of like uh storytelling news telling news reporting mm -hmm. um but then you know what we are able to do as well is to, is, is to express our opinion yeah um but yeah, I I think it's important to kind of like to be able to express your opinion. And if you have an opinion on this, let us know in the comments below. 
Uh, we'll have a look. We'll take a look. Maybe one of them might, might make a comment of the week next week. It might do. And let's let's try to have this this comment. Just try to remove the personal bit. Because if journalists aren't removing, I don't think any journalist involved in this debate is neutral. I really yeah. don't. I think everyone has a side to it. Comment your opinion on it. Let's try not to get nasty about this stuff. It's an interesting debate to have, but I think we need to slightly remove emotion. Yeah, from we can this. control it by saying that like the the debate should be about that idea of like should we have to document every single send or should yeah. pro climbers have to document every single yeah. send? I think that this should be kind of based around that. That's the fundamental it? argument here, basically. Mm. Yes, yeah. uh, regardless of who's involved. Yeah. Anyway. On other news, I've climbed Action Direct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you take a photo? I did not. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Uh, right. In other news, we've got some uh, exciting sends in America. French climber Alize Dufresi is currently on an extended bouldering and lead climbing US trip with her partner in crime, Daniel Woods. In her trip so far, she has had a couple of sessions on the Ethan Pringle route Everything is Karate in Bishop, California, before moving to doing some bouldering in Red Rocks, where she has sent the classic problem Meadowlark Lemon Stand 8B slash A+. Part of the reason for this trip is to get strong for a Spanish trip in the spring, where her sights are set on La Rambla. So yeah, La Rambla in spring. Yeah. I'm excited to see. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, there'll be a big queue, I imagine. <laughs> this should have to, 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 to do. Um, and in that, we're going to keep it short for that. We're going to go straight to the AC counter because we spent so long on the Saeed uh, um, Hans Hutch story. So here we go. <laughs> So, uh, a bunch of ACs this week. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Nico Januel has done Le Denier Flow. Very good. Right? Yeah. yeah. AC, it's in font, uh, and apparently it's got a vicious finger crack to start with. So, Nico, nice one. Well done. One tick for you. Uh, Drew Ruana is my other one. Trieste sit start. There's a video playing now. B15, AC. Well done, Drew. Uh, and that's in Red Rock Canyon in Las Vegas. Nice one, Drew. He's just there. Thank you. Uh, Russian boulder Vadim Timonov um, has done a couple of 8Cs. One is the classic dream time nice. uh, in Cristiano, and the other one is the kingdom, 8C. It's a forward slash HB+, but they need to be consistent because we've been given dream time, which is a forward slash HB+. Yeah. Uh, so we'll give them that as well. I am giving that. Uh, Italian Stefano Carnati has also made an ascent of the story of two worlds. Is he on there? I think he should be on there because he did dream time last week. He definitely is. There he is, there he is. right at the bottom. Um, that this is ten days after he did uh, the other dream one. time. Yeah, <laughs> well done, everybody. And uh, now, as we mentioned last week, this is potentially the last uh, 8C slash 9B counter of the year. Potentially, we've got two. We've got Christmas Day, then we've got New Year's Day coming up, so we're going to miss new shows. So this is it. There'll be one last chance, obviously, in the next two weeks for climbers to do this. Do then you think we... if somebody gets a Christmas Day uh, 8C 9B send, they should get triple points? Absolutely not. No! You've you got to keep with the, the scoring system. You can't just have days of double, like bonus days. But Christmas Day... is madness. Oh. Madness. Right, let's talk about media uh, and one of your favourite Frenchies has a film. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Seb Bois, uh has recently been in Spain and he sent... Uh, can you remember what he said? He said a whole bunch of stuff, but including did this first repeat of the Jorge Diaz Rulo route, uh, Patanics. Patanix. Patanix is a cool route from Mantana sector in Rodilia. It's, uh, it's crossing all the roof and finishing in the crux of No Pain No Gain, which is uh, 90 plus. So it's quite a long route and I like this kind of route. When is that film out? Can't wait to see it. That film is coming out tomorrow. It's Wednesday, today. It's coming out Thursday. Cool. Can't wait. Uh, now, Blockfest, uh, round two. It's kicked off. This time it was at Flashpoint in Bristol. Check out this little clip. I put it down as the hard one. And I did it. I think the sense is really cool. It's really bright and open. It's really cool because um, this is the first time Blockfest has been at Flashpoint and it means that I don't have to travel because I live in Bristol, which is nice. Uh, it's a really good selection of holds, really good setting, really good angles, and most importantly, really good coffee. Lo 
a lot of love for Rosalind. Yeah, she's cool. She's very really cool. cool. Funny. Yep, down to earth. Strong. Strong. I don't know great. her personally. I mean, brilliant. She's great. Apparently, she's a lot cool. of people are saying that she should have her own YouTube channel. Ooh. Which is a lot of hard work, guys. I don't think you realise how hard work it is to have your own don't YouTube do channel. It. Yeah, you can't be a climber and have a YouTube Sorry. channel Sorry. like Magnus Smith. <clears throat> Uh, carry on <laughs> uh, shop stuff now uh, we have been banging on about Christmas for what seems like forever and it is getting to that point where if you haven't organised your Christmas present you might miss out yes. now we've got lots of shipping options now if you go onto the Epic TV website choose shipping it tells you how many days it would probably take yeah but we're getting close so I would order it express shipping uh, it's about tenner definitely worth it but soon, guys, soon. What do you have to get to get free shipping? You have to spend over... 70 euros for free shipping. DHL Express is a tenner on top of that extra. Yeah, yeah. So do, 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 do it quickly if you're going to get a Christmas present. We've do, also do, got do. a big restock because after Black Friday, mm -hmm. everyone bought everything. Yeah, we were kind of like left in the lurch. Yeah, yeah. Bit. no products, but they are being restocked. So if you're into, for example, Seven Sisters Chalk, I know a lot of people love that. That's yeah. back in stock. Already? The Grigri, yeah, it's back. Wow. It will be when this is being filmed. Okay, fine. Uh, and the Gri Gri, yeah. you know the Gri Gri, the new Gri Greed 2, that was out, back in stock now. So it confuses me. So many Greed Greeds. I know. Mm. Uh, right, comment of the week. Yes. Do a song? Uh, yes, what do you want to do? Uh, we do? Like a like a hot, like a, like a, like like a Christmas, Christmas one. We did a Christmas one last what's, week. What's that? Um, dun, 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 dun. Christmas of the week. Yeah. Comment, comment of the, of the week. week. I'm sure we did, did that we last, last week. week? Yeah, well, what's another one? No, no, we do it. It's fine. Comment of the week. Okay, right, my one is from. Bjorn Lind, he says, it annoys me when you say forward slash instead of slash. <laughs> is there a grade where backward slash is involved? Excuse me for not speaking English as my native language, but if you insist on telling us the angle of the slash, shouldn't it be slab slash and overhanging slash for us climbers? Shame on you! Uh, very, very good comment. Mm, I like the whole grammar and then the shame on you at the end, just to dig a bit of YouTube digging. I like the, I like slab slash and yes. I like overhanging slash. Why do you say forward slash? Because you do do that. Is it me that says forward yeah, slash? Yeah, you go, you go AA forward slash AA plus. I think it's like on a, on, a, on a, 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 a hangover from Ant and Dex days. I'm pretty sure there was always like a backslash and forward slash. This is the second time in a row you've talked about Ant and Dex. I love Ant and Dex. Yeah, Let's clearly. get ready to rumble. Uh, my, uh, my comment of the week is from Nzd. And it says, on the subject of Touching the Void, there is also a play wow. currently on in the West End, which is well worth seeing. Now, as you know, I'm a dramatist. No, I, I'm I call you a... Uh, classically trained actor. Uh, or a... Um, thespian. Thespian. A thespian. Thanks, Lo. I thesp. So, obviously, I'm interested in a play, right? Yeah. But I'm imagining where this is going to go. Fake snow on stage, sure. fake mountains. Also, what else could be a play? What do you mean? Well, in the mountaineering world, what would make a good play? That's a good point. Um, this, uh, the situation... The 9A still... Action Director page. <laughs> yeah, maybe an amazing. opera, maybe like a dramatic <laughs> opera of 9A. Yeah. Comment below, let us know what you want, uh, which yes, climbing incident do you good. want to be made into a play. Wow, look at that. Not it's a just, film, a play. Yeah, encouraging engagement. And subscribe! I got in there first. <laughs> subscribe to our channel, please do. Excellent. Oh, that is a good point because I, I want to make 200,000 by the end of the year. That's very soon. It could happen. Two weeks. Yeah. Subscribe. Just everybody subscribe and they sub 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 subscribe again yeah. and we could hit 200,000. Guys, we will see you in two weeks' time. Have an amazing, amazing Christmas. Wonderful New Year and we'll see you soon. Happy Christmas. Nice one, man.